Hi and welcome! My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at how to move one cell to the right by using the right arrow key as well as a couple alternate methods. This is part of our navigating Excel section of this course. So with that, let's get started. All right, so in order to start this lesson, let's open up Excel. And in Excel, we have a little example that we'll be using for the next few lessons. And we just have a situation where maybe we're selling an ebook on Amazon and we have a couple different tables. The numbers are not super important and the situation itself isn't really that important. Let's just figure out how we can navigate in Excel. So if we had an active cell here in I3, we know I3 is our active cell because here I is highlighted in this little gray section and then the row three is highlighted. We also have a little green box around this individual cell here. So if we want to move one region or one cell to the right, the fastest way to do that is to just make sure that there's no specific selection in your actual cell and press your key to the right. Again, if you wanted to move to the right, you would just tap your key. Now, if you were in your cell and you had made some changes or maybe you were looking at editing, pressing the right key will move one character at a time in that actual function dialog box here. So in order to move out of the cell, you have to make sure that you're, you don't have the individual contents of the cell selected the way that you would Achieve that is by hitting escape to cancel any changes. Or if you're in this specific cell and you wanna make those changes, you can just press the control key and the enter key. Pressing the control key and the enter key would make those changes within that specific cell, but not move your cursor. So again, if we are in the cell and we wanted to move to the right, we can press the tab key in order to accept those changes and move to the right, or if we want to accept those changes and not move anywhere, we would press Alt Enter. Once we have that situation where we're no longer in the active cell, but we're on the active cell, we can then use our right arrow key. Alternately, one efficient way to move to the right is to take your cursor. And again, assuming that you're not in the active cell, meaning that you can make individual edits by using your keyboard, and adding keys or just random data like that. We're gonna hit escape to cancel any changes that we might have made and then we can use our mouse and move over. So again, in this video, we looked at how to move within Excel from one cell to the next cell on your right. The two ways that I find most efficient to do that are either use your right arrow key or your mouse cursor. However, if you're going to use your right arrow key, you need to make sure that you don't have it selected within the cell, meaning that if you press your right arrow key or your left arrow key, it wouldn't do any changes until either you've exited out of that cell, canceling the changes, or if you've made changes, let's say that this was 90, you can press Alt Enter and then move over to the right. So. With that, in our next video, we'll look at how to move in the opposite direction. We'll look at how to move one cell to the left using our left arrow and mouse cursor. So if you're interested in that, join us in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.